You know, I just don't get it. I, uh, Republicans win the House. I reach across the aisle to the Democrats. Uh, well, I reach across the aisle and now the Democrats are angry at me. You know, it's really tough being President, Joe. Really? It's been a breeze being Vice President. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, uh, I need to do something to improve my popularity. Right. Well, there's no need to fear, because George W. Bush is here. <laughs> How did you get in here? You know, uh, they didn't change the locks on this place. <laughs> when, when I left, they, I turned my key back in and said, do not copy. I made a copy. That was a decision point. <laughs> all right, hey, you listen here, okay? We got a lot of shit going on, all right? We don't need you causing any trouble, so scram! <laughs> Why are you acting some batshit crazy, bud? Look, I'm just here to help. Look, Barack, I've been there before. I know how it is when your, your, your poll numbers are sinking. Mine, of course, are rising like a pig on Christmas Day. <laughs> That's a saying I'm trying out. <laughs> Polls, listen, you're not, the, you're not the president anymore. Oh, no, 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 Joe. Uh, you see, he's right. Uh, his approval rating has gone up. Yeah. Numbers don't lie. Barack, you want my help or not? Hey, when I left here, you didn't see a Game Boy, did you? <laughs> well, you know... Oh, I, come on, Barack. They threw shoes at this guy. I know, but, I mean, some help couldn't hurt. That, Barack, was a decision point. Good job. All right. Here's what you should do. You need to loosen up, you know? Take a vacation. If you're not here, people can't be mad at you. <laughs> yeah, but if you're not here, they're gonna be pissed that you're not around. Nah, no, they won't. Just go to your ranch and clear some brush. You'll feel a lot better. Hmm. Well, I don't really have any ranchers back in Chicago. And I'd rather shoot hoops than, than clear brush. You know, maybe I'll just stay here. All right, all right, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Uh, you, you got dollars, right? Uh, yes, I shouldn't believe it. Awesome. How much do they drink? <laughs> Well, they're nine and twelve. Oh, so they're like tea toddlers. <laughs> yeah, they're lightweights, real lightweights. Yeah, I, I guess I guess what I'd do is then is maybe if they don't drink, maybe what you need to do is uh, get them in with a bad crowd or something. Hey, hey, why don't you have them hang out with that Hannah Montana and that Miley Cyrus? Both of those girls are always getting themselves into trouble. <laughs> uh, no, here's the here's the problem. So you can't do that kind of stuff. He's not that kind of guy. I don't know, can you help me out with any points uh, politically, some political stuff? Right. Wow, that was real helpful. Where did that come from? <laughs> Weird, I don't know. <laughs> well, what about, what about, uh, did you raise taxes, did you cut taxes for everybody, including the, uh, uh, including the super rich? Yes, yes, I did. I made the exact same tax cuts you did, and nobody liked it. They said it was irresponsible and, and support, um. What? And su su support. What was that? <laughs> you know, it's these darn stitches in my lip. You know, I, it, it makes it hard to say certain words. And I had, the, I had a big problem with this at Kennedy Center. <laughs> it sounds like you were trying to say superfluous. Uh, but that's, that's right. Uh, uh, superfluous. <laughs> it's hilarious. You're, you're saying words wrong. That is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. President, your, uh, your poll numbers just went up. <laughs> So publish! <laughs> awesome! <laughs>